Hello everyone, uh, this is Benit. Uh, welcome to my channel, My Den. So as you already know uh, about today's video, so this is about uh, getting the Final Cut Pro for free. Let's check the price of Final Cut Pro in the App Store. Okay, so let's type Final Cut Pro. Okay. So here it is uh, the Final Cut Pro and it costs you about 27,900 INR uh, Indian currency so uh, that's what uh, before we buy this let's check if it is worth the amount which you are paying so so uh, for doing that we will download the free version of uh, final cut pro okay because it's a huge amount right 27900 so once you buy it's yours so before uh, buying it you uh, want to make sure that you are comfortable editing in final cut pro and uh, if it is worth uh, for the amount you pay so basically final cut pro is uh, a software for apple uh, macbooks and mac for video editing so this has been uh, optimized for the apple macbook and the mac so that uh, it uh, fits the requirement for the macbook so let's begin how to download this thing for free so let's go in the Google browser and you need to type it Final Cut Pro Trial okay so it will directly reroute you to the Apple's website so this is uh, www.apple.com so make sure that you only download it from the Apple's uh, website because there are a few scam website which tells you that you get uh, the final cut pro for free but whenever you open through the apple's uh, application and uh, the website here it comes try final cut pro free for 90 days right so let's click on download and here as you can see it's getting downloaded and it says three minutes left and the size of uh, the application is 2.9 GB quite high so it's getting downloaded let's check the minimum system requirement for Final Cut Pro so these are the minimum requirement Mac OS 10.15.6 or later 4 GB of RAM 8 GB recommended for 4k editing 3d titles and 360 video editing so 1 gb of vram recommended date for 4k editing okay so uh this uh, uh, the one which i'm using it's a mid uh, 2012 macbook pro uh, non retina so i have uh, updated the ram to 10 gb and a 250 gb ssd so i don't have any issues editing or 1080p video but when you go higher than that that's the 4k video uh, the macbook uh, pro it gives you trouble uh, not trouble in the sense but yeah it cannot do uh, the 4k editing on its full potential if you want to do it you can do but that will take hell lot of time to render and to import uh, sorry export the video so uh, mine i always do it in 1080p so if there are a few uh, videos which i had edited in 4k uh, but it took a hell lot of time so i am not doing a 4k editing in this particular macbook pro okay but uh, a 1080p video editing is done like seamlessly good you know you can do it like without any issues in a 2012 mid macbook pro so it's getting downloaded and it says one minute left okay the final cut pro is uh, optimized for the mac os so it should run good because i haven't uh, tried it so this is so this is my first time getting a final cut pro and today's video i'll be editing using the final cut pro and uh, 
the free trial version will not affect any of the features or options you will get all the options and the features which you should get in a final cut pro okay i would suggest you to uh, you know if you your MacBook is a 2012 or a 2014 MacBook Pro with the integrated graphics card uh, Don't try doing a 4k editing because that doesn't work So it's already installed Sorry downloaded. Let's open it So it's showing as verifying Okay So this is the installer double click let's close this okay continue continue read license if you want to read the license you can read the license I just keep it so this will take 3.92 GB of your space okay I do have plenty and you do have to input your password as well as you can see this being a 2012 mid macbook pro uh, it's amazingly fast okay i don't have any issues uh, with uh, this uh, particular macbook pro unless i do a 4k editing or a, you know high end graphics game uh, that doesn't work well but uh, with a little upgrade of the RAM and the SSD, you will be able to do all the day-to-day -day basic things like official work or simple editing or browsing. It does seamlessly. Okay, there is no issue uh, with the performance of my MacBook Pro. And this MacBook Pro is also uh, one of the best MacBook Pro Apple has made because just imagine this is a 2012 mid macbook pro and this set uh, now it's 2021 right so see this is how it performs it performs really good but i need to get another laptop and i'll be getting a mac because uh, video editing is mac in mac is like amazing so the installation was successful and the software was installed let's close it and the installer file keep or move i'll move it to trash because i will not be needing it anymore right so let's go and check in the launch pad and here comes the final cut pro trial version so let's click so it should be bouncing over here version 10.5.4 okay so as you can see final cut pro trial will expire after 90 days okay so let's do okay here comes the final cut pro the free version of it this is amazing man now for 90 days i'll be using this particular application to edit my videos and i'll check if it is worth the money to be paid or as you can use the trial version like uh, how many times you can use it you can use that okay i think you you can use it like uh, after 90 days of trial also you can uh, download the trial version again so this is uh, the video about uh, how to get uh, the final pro for free now guys you can just check how it performs and decide whether you need to spend the money and buy the application or you can continue doing it with the trial version okay so uh, being said that thank you for watching the video this is Benet signing off please do like and subscribe the channel bye bye take care stay safe